crispy. Now go to the dog pound. You've been waiting for this all game long here. We got North, uh, I'm sorry, Stonebridge taking on Broad Run. Broad Run, a team that eliminated Stonebridge from the playoffs a season ago, and Stonebridge wants revenge in a bad way. <laughs> that they do, Matt. And at the dog, dog pound, we see some dogs getting loose here in the secondary as down to the 15 yard line as that is a great run for Stonebridge. Chance Fry setting up Colin Buckley's six yard touchdown run. Extra point by Brett Smedley would be good and Stonebridge won the regular season matchup a year ago. Off to a good start here, seven nothing. And then a surprise onside kick is gonna be recovered by the Bulldogs as coming up with a recovery and sets them in great field possession inside the 40 yard line. Oh, that tricky Mickey Thompson, head coach of the Bulldogs with the surprise onside kick. And now Broad Run's defense has to find an answer against the Stonebridge attack uh, that has quite a few ways to beat you. Throwing the ball with Joe Thompson and running it, they would get the football back now and you see the rushing attack with Shashawn Banks having some success early on. Yeah, for the Spartans, you knew they were gonna mount a rally on defense and that leads to this field goal try that is up and wide left, uh, and just like that, Broad, uh, <laughs> Broad Run comes up empty, and Stonebridge back at it. Stonebridge back at it with Chance Fry through the air there, the quick pass, and that'll set up a field goal attempt by Brett Smedley. This one would be good from 38 yards out. 10-point lead for the Bulldogs. On the ground go the Spartans as Broad Run's gonna get some more runs up the field, and they're down 10-0, but they're gonna look to make something happen as quarterback Brady Reitzel is going to get sacked in the backfield, but Reitzel, not undaunted, will continue to look to throw, and he finds his target in Tyree King. The six foot four senior wideout pulling that in, and that'll set up Sammy Sergey's 33 yard field goal. This one would be good, and he's a name we'll hear quite a bit throughout this highlight. 10 3 of the score, as back at it on offense is Stonebridge, and again, it's going to be Fry looking to make something out of, happen out of the backfield. Now, Joe Thompson, the quarterback. He uses his legs to pick up some yards, and he's got some great yardage down the field. That'll set up another field goal attempt, Matt. However, Chris, this field goal would be no good, so Broad Run dodges disaster there as they get a break here. Now the pass attempt from Brady Reitzel is complete to his man. That is Jaleel Robinson with the reception, and Reitzel showing some poise in the pocket, completes another one down the field to Robinson as Broad Run is marching. He is marching, but unfortunately Reitzel can't connect and that'll lead to Sergey's field goal attempt, which is up and good. And all of a sudden, it's a 10-6 game now. And Stonebridge, after a great start to the game, seeming to lose some momentum here as Broad Run continues to move it on the ground. You'll see some great runs by Banks as he eludes multiple tackles and gets a field goal opportunity again for Broad Run. Better hit him hard because he's not going down without a fight. 10 to 9, Stonebridge hanging on to a one point lead, and Broadrun has a chance to get the lead here. As now Chuck Davis, the three star recruit with multiple offers from big time D1 schools, brings it in, but the sack there by Owen Pika for Stonebridge. Reitzel not to be discouraged. He again finds Davis on the sideline, and now Reitzel is going to pump fake and look deep downfield, trying to find Robinson, but just can't come up with it. And the offense will look to the ground game as again Banks is going to lose the football and Stonebridge comes up with it. James Prohaska with the recovery for Stonebridge on defense as the Bulldogs having the fans at the dog pound rejoice. There a field goal here by Sergey. He's been kicking a lot of these in this game and this one would be no good. So he's three of five on the night. Unfortunately for Sergey, it was a niet on that field goal try and you see a great upending tackle on defense by Broad Run as they look to make a statement here in the second half. Unfortunately, it's the aerial attack as Chance Fry, we've seen him on the ground all game. Matt, this time he comes up with a touchdown reception. That could be a clincher, though. It's a little early, 17 to nine after that 45 yard hookup from Thompson to Fry. Broad Run has the passing game to get back in it and the speed and athleticism of Chuck Davis there on the bubble tunnel screen there as he gets it inside the 45 yard line to start the fourth quarter and the Spartans are moving the ball. One last drive, one last quarter for this Bulldogs team that's got a chance to win this one and the field goal which would have put them up by two scores is blocked so Stone, Stonebridge finding stuff only up by eight and Broad Run trying to make a comeback here late in the game. And Wrights will mix, mixing it up with different receivers. You see Robinson, you see Smallwood, you see Tyreek King, and now you see the scramble mode right here by Breitzel as he gets away in the pocket. This time the pass would be intercepted as that is Corey Wells with a 
big interception for the Bulldogs. Corey Wells, who was victimized last year on a touchdown reception, redeems himself this year with the interception that seals the game for Stonebridge as they take the eight-point victory. Sammy Sergey, as we mentioned, three field goals and a losing cause for Broad Run. Colin Buckley, 26 carries, 116 yards, and a touchdown rushing for the Bulldogs.